In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect Superbase to N8N. So just follow along. Now, the first thing you're going to have to do is you want to go to Superbase and you want to sign in with your account or create one in case you don't have one yet. And then once you have your account, you're going to have to create a new project. Now you can do this very easily. Just go to projects here on the left, click on new project. And from here, you want to basically just select uh, to which org you're trying to basically make it. And as you can see, I already have the uh, maximum amount of projects for my free version over here. So that's going to be it. But of course, you're going to have to give it a name, a password, and then you can just create your project. Now, once you do that, it will take you like one to two minutes for the project to be created. And then once it's completely created, it should say something like this. I'm going to show you with this one in this test little project over here. It should not say anything like loading or something. It should say either nano over here or anything else. So it has to be completed. Once you click on it, the project status has to be green up here. So it means that basically uh, the project has been created successfully and fully created. Now, once you've done this to actually connect it, you want to first go over here to the left and at the very bottom, you can see project settings once you are inside the project. So click on that. And then from here, click on data API under configuration. In here you see you have a bunch of different things. So you have the URL, you have the service role secret and the anon public. Now the two that we're going to be needing is this project URL and then the service role secret. Now let's hop inside NA10 so we can connect this. Inside NA10 you want to of course add a step and then you want to look for Superbase over here. There we go. And then you want to just click on Superbase. And over here, you can basically select any action you would like. So I'm just going to go with create a row, but of course you can do whatever you want. And then you'll see this kind of uh, parameters tab pop up. So what you have to do is where it says credential to connect with, you want to click on select credential and then create a new credential. Over here, it says connection. Then you want to put in the host and the service role secret. So the way you can actually do this is you want to go to Superbase and the host will be this link over here. So the project URL, as you can see this one, you want to just copy that and you want to paste it in the host. And then where it says service role secret over here, you can use this one, which is service role secret. Just click reveal and then click on copy. And then you want to go back up here, paste this in here. And as you can see, it's been pasted. And then you simply want to click on save. And just like that, as you can see, it says credential successfully created in test project, which means your super base has successfully been connected to NA10. So that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.